In this video, we'll look at MailChimp pricing, some of the settings, and we'll look around MailChimp itself. So let's go to MailChimp. I'm at MailChimp.com, and the first thing to explain is pricing. So if I click on pricing, we can see that there are three plans here. Free, MailChimp have a very good free plan. So for up to 2,000 subscribers and up to 12,000 email sends per month, they have a free account. If you're going to send more than 12,000 emails per month, or you have more than 2,000 subscribed people in your lists, or even if you have under 2,000 subscribers, for example, and you'd like MailChimp's very good personal support, you'd need to upgrade to a grow plan. How that works is that we pay MailChimp for the maximum amount of subscribed people we have in our list in a billing period. We can at any stage click calculate your price and, and we can see how much it would cost us. The Pro plan is an add-on to a Grow plan and it allows us various advanced functionality in MailChimp. I do have a video about this later on in the lessons. At the top of the screen you'll see resources. MailChimp have a lot of free online help. So even if you're not paying for MailChimp support, you can still get access to the to the various articles that MailChimp have. So logging into MailChimp, I can see I'm logged into MailChimp at the moment. At any stage, I can click Freddy, this is Freddy over here, which will take me back to the dashboard. So if you're ever lost in MailChimp, click Freddy. We then have various sections in MailChimp. Lists is really important. A list is where we add our contacts. So we add all our people into a list. A campaign is a marketing activity. So we create a campaign, a marketing activity, to a list or a part of a list. So in MailChimp, there are various types of marketing campaigns we can create. Email marketing, postcards, we can create a landing page even, uh, we could create an advert even. Templates is a subset of email marketing. So lists, campaigns, templates, and reports. Reports, nice and simple to understand, but give us a good feeling for what people are engaging with and what they're not, so we can tell how we can improve our marketing activities. To get to MailChimp settings, we click the down arrow next to our name at the top of the screen, and we click accounts. So just bear with me, I'm just going to remove the image of myself so you can see a little bit better. I'm just going to click account and you will see that we can go into the settings for our account and change various things. We can look at the billing and so on and so on. One thing that is worth highlighting at this stage is that we need to make sure that our time zone is correct in MailChimp. To do this, we click settings, details, and check that your time zone is correct. If your time zone isn't correct, if you schedule your email campaigns to go out in the future, they will go out at the wrong time if your time zone is incorrect. So please make sure that your time zone is, in, is, is correct. If you do need help once you're logged into MailChimp, you can click help at any stage. And if you're on a paid account, you can chat online with MailChimp or fill in a form with your issue and MailChimp will get back to you. But again, there is a lot of free help um, too from MailChimp that is available through help at the top of the screen. 